その時は何の前触れもなく訪れるかもしれない。We have to focus on trying to improve the resilience of people around the volcano, and one of the best ways to do that is through education. So this video, although it may seem alarmist, it's kind of trying to reproduce the worst case scenario, prepare for the worst, hope for the best sort of thing. So educating people on what the worst possible scenario is, I think is a fairly good measure to take in terms of trying to improve preparedness. The last eruption from Fuji was in 1707. We don't have any photo or video footage. We don't have any lived memory of that eruption. We only have a, a, a painting, for example. Merging that with some AI and giving them this sort of pseudo-realistic depiction of what can actually happen from Fuji in Tokyo, I think is a fairly good use of technology. The ash falling in Tokyo could have a number of different effects. It can close airspace. Japan's obviously also very reliant on a, a very good train network. So an accumulation of ash along the rail networks would probably halt their sort of transport that way. Ash is basically ground up pieces of volcanic rock that have been blasted apart in the explosion. It's very sharp and jagged. It's essentially a glass. So it can be very disruptive to ears, nose and throats, particularly for anything or anyone with sort of asthma or other respiratory illnesses. 